Hey there, Finance Home Front viewers. Thanks so much for tuning in. If you enjoy staying updated on the latest in the world of finance, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you don't miss any new content. Today's video covers a story that's making headlines across major news outlets and was recently featured in a US news article. But before we jump into this case, let's quickly review fraud in the industry and the cost of that fraud. Fraud within the cryptocurrency market has become a significant and costly issue, with billions of dollars lost to various schemes over the years. Estimates suggest that since the rise of digital currencies, fraud, scams, and hacks have collectively cost the market upwards of $50 billion globally. In 2022 alone, the losses from crypto-related crimes were estimated at around $14 billion, driven by the rise of high-profile scams, thefts, and market manipulation schemes. The most common forms of fraud include rug pulls, where project creators vanish with investors' funds, Ponzi schemes that promise unsustainable returns, and market manipulation tactics like pump and dump schemes. Additionally, Fraudulent initial coin offerings, ICOs, and hacking of crypto exchanges have led to substantial financial damage, with some individual exchange hacks resulting in losses exceeding $500 million. These incidents highlight the challenges that regulatory bodies face in curbing criminal activities within the decentralized and often anonymous cryptocurrency space. As a result, the push for tighter regulations and more robust security measures continues to grow, aimed at protecting investors and maintaining the integrity of the market. All right, on to the topic at hand. Today, we're diving into a major story shaking up the cryptocurrency world. Several companies and individuals have been charged with fraud and market manipulation. And it's a wild case with some interesting twists. Remember though, while I'm here to share insights and break down the news, I'm not offering any financial advice. So sit back, stay informed, and let's get into it. The cryptocurrency industry faces major fraud and manipulation charges involving multiple companies and 15 individuals. Federal authorities have recently taken a significant step in combating fraud and market manipulation within the cryptocurrency sector. Following an intensive investigation that included a groundbreaking move by the Federal Bureau of Investigation, a.k.a. the FBI. Charges have been brought against three cryptocurrency companies and a total of 15 individuals for their involvement in widespread deceptive practices. In an unprecedented move, the FBI initiated the development of a new digital token designed explicitly to aid authorities in identifying and addressing criminal activities within the digital currency landscape. In Boston, federal prosecutors revealed charges against a trio of companies, Gotbit, ZM Quant, and CLS Global. Alongside these firms, the prosecution also named numerous company leaders and employees as defendants. The charges have so far resulted in four arrests, with five additional individuals agreeing to enter guilty pleas. Furthermore, authorities have confiscated cryptocurrency assets totaling over $25 million. Acting United States Attorney Joshua Levy described the fraudulent activities as deceptive trading maneuvers intended to create an illusion of high trading volume, ultimately leading to artificially inflated token values. According to Levy, the accused engaged in these tactics before offloading their holdings onto unsuspecting investors who were unaware of the underlying fraud, thereby leaving innocent investors holding the bag. Levy likened the fraudulent activities to a classic pump and dump scheme, one of the oldest forms of market manipulation that has plagued the stock market for decades. However, in this instance, Levy emphasized that new age digital technologies, specifically cryptocurrency, were used to orchestrate and execute this time-worn scheme. He noted that while the technology was novel, the underlying deceptive methods were as old as the stock markets themselves. A particularly noteworthy aspect of the investigation involved the FBI directing the creation of a fictitious cryptocurrency company, Nexfund AI. 
This company released a digital token on the widely recognized Ethereum blockchain, which ZM Quant, CLS Global, and another company known as MyTrade agreed to manipulate as part of the fraud. According to prosecutors, these companies collaborated to artificially inflate the token's value. Authorities were vigilant in monitoring the token's transactions to minimize the risk of retail investors purchasing it before the token was deactivated, thereby averting further harm to potential victims. In conjunction with these criminal charges, the United States Securities and Exchange Commission also pursued related civil cases against those involved. The investigation further revealed that the largest entity implicated in this case, Saitama, at one point held a market valuation of seven and one half billion dollars. This valuation was largely the result of manipulative trading practices by its executive team, who systematically inflated the token's value and then covertly sold their holdings. The company's chief executive officer, Manpreet Kohli, was apprehended on a Monday in the United Kingdom. Several other employees, both current and former, were also implicated. Of the employees facing charges, three have already entered guilty pleas. Alexei Andriunin, the chief executive officer of Gotbit, a company specializing as a market maker for cryptocurrency, was another high-profile individual charged in this case. Andriunin, who has resided in both Russia and Portugal, was apprehended in Portugal on a Tuesday. Two of his employees based in Russia were also charged. Prosecutors allege that, between the years 2018 and 2024, Gotbit engaged in what is known as wash trading, a deceptive trading practice that involves buying and selling the same assets to simulate heightened trading activity. This was part of a broader strategy of market manipulation carried out on behalf of several cryptocurrency clients to inflate their token values deceitfully. Among the additional individuals charged were Liu Zhou, the founder of MyTrade, a company also involved in market making and alleged to have offered market manipulation services openly. Court documents indicate that Zhou has agreed to a guilty plea. Another accused, Riki Liu, who has ties to both the United Kingdom and Hong Kong, as well as Bai Jun Wu, also of Hong Kong, were both employed by ZM Quant. Andre Georges, based in the United Arab Emirates, and an employee of CLS Global, also faced charges. Efforts to reach these individuals for comment were unsuccessful at the time of the announcement. Others facing charges include Michael Thompson from Virginia, who was employed by a cryptocurrency firm named VZZN, founded by a former Saitama employee, and Bradley Beatty from Florida, accused of fraudulently promoting his own cryptocurrency company, Lillian Finance. Thanks for watching, Finance Homefront viewers. That wraps up today's deep dive into the latest crypto scandal and the big charges shaking up the industry. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Do you think cases like this will lead to stricter regulations for crypto? Drop a comment below and let's start a conversation. If you found this video helpful or interesting, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and give it a thumbs up. Your support helps us keep bringing you the latest financial news. Thanks again, and I'll see you in the next one.